We're about to do a Kriya called Flexibility and the Spine. And this is one of the longest Kriyas we are going to have. This is going to be somewhere between 90 minutes and two hours long, and we can handle it. There's a lot of things happening on this world right now. A lot of changes shifting in technology. I've always had a very positive outlook on technology because to me, it was a stepping stone of us being able to connect with each other without devices, without these things. Telecommunication, being able to express emotions that other feel. These devices have made that possible. We can see what people are doing on the other side of the world, on the other side of the city, on the other side of our home on these devices. Now what's happening is we're getting our right of free speech denied on these devices. People are being canceled, which is going to prompt, signal, promote us to be able to connect with each other the same way we have for the last few years for the last decade, two decades on these devices, but without the devices. If we're no longer able to fully express yourself on our platforms, the platforms also have a right to determine what gets expressed. That is their agenda. And in order for us to have a right to our agenda, we must allow others to have a right to their agenda. And so it's happening. The major social media platforms are, are determining what is correct and they use fact checkers to determine if what is said serves their agenda or not. And what doesn't serve their agenda You get some noises from a piece of technology over here. It's almost like they're listening. What doesn't serve their agenda gets canceled. It gets taken down. Those accounts get restricted, which is perfect. It gives us an opportunity to connect with each other. And this Kriya is very opening for the body. This body is a receiver. This body is a transmitter. And in order to have fully functional transmissions and receptions, our body needs to be able to flow this current through us. And so a lot of this is going to just feel like stretching. See if we can go a couple steps deeper than that and really connect to the energy flow through the body, especially the posterior part of our body, which is what we're normally just sitting down on and relaxing into, turning off. We're going to light up that part of the body. We're going to activate, we're going to release it. There may be some challenging components of this Kriya. This Kriya is extraordinarily long and I, recommend to everybody if you're not used to doing this type of work do not start with this kriya and if you are going to ignore that advice then please scale everything back do not hold the postures for as long as we hold it in this kriya do not do the amount of reps that we do scale it back take more rest if you've got issues in your tissues if you got issues in your body Please scale for comfort. Comfort in the postures always overrides the position of the posture. Even myself, I've got some knee stuff going on, so I will be using a prop. If you guys have a stack of books, a yoga block, or a meditation pillow, you may want that nearby. All right, so to begin... I will be talking a lot. I'm going to keep my timer here. The first position 
Let's take our left foot straight down, right foot steps out to the side. This is going to be an archer pose. So let's square our hips. And from here, we're going to make the right hand forward. We're going to leave the right thumb up and we're going to bend the right pads of the fingers onto the tips of the fingers or the other way around. Tips of the fingers onto the pads of the fingers. The left is opening up the heart. So in this position, we're falling into the posture, meaning we're seeing what we can release in the body while holding the position strong. And we start with the feet. Are the feet balanced? Can we feel the hips even? And we can also play around, right? We can take the left hip forward, right hip back. Left arm comes back to pull open the chest. The eyes are gazing open straight at the right thumb. Archer position refers to us aligning our body into the position of our vision. Let's pull in our navel point just a little bit. That point two inches below the navel, pull that in. Open that chest a little bit more. The left elbow should be going straight back. And so let's bring the vision of our life. Feel that. Even though our eyes are seeing our right thumb, bring that vision, the greatest version of ourself, onto the screen of your imagination. And we're almost coming up to the halfway point in this position. See if we can infuse that vision into our entire body, starting with the feet. How are we walking? Where are the places we visit as this greatest version of ourself? Come up into the thighs with this vision. How are we moving? How are we holding ourselves? Let's readjust the navel point. What action are we taking as this greatest version of ourself? How do we feel about this as we open our heart just a little bit more and spreading our arms long? Feeling the solid foundation of the arms connected to the heart. As we infuse with our body the feeling of who we are as this greatest version of ourself. Pay attention to the neck. How are we holding our head? How are we speaking as this greatest version of ourself? And see if we can, one more time, link in to that vision. Shoulder blades are reaching down, chest is opening, thumb is rigidly, both of them, pointed up towards the sky. Tips of the fingers are pressing into the pads of the hands. Feet are pressing firmly into the earth. Breath is happening perfectly. As we're taking our final few breaths, really soak in this image. One more inhale and exhale. Now let's relax our arms down. 
stand upright. Let's take a minute to seal that in. Let's bring our right toes pointed forward, left toes pointed off to the side, left hand up, left fingertips touching the pads of the left hand, left thumb pointed up. We bend the left knee, we pull back the arrow, hand, right hand is the same as the left hand. We open up the chest, so let that right arm originate in the chest. Like we're pulling open the cage that's been protecting our heart. We're opening ourselves up to more, more of ourself. We just envisioned the greatest version of ourself. Let us now fit that vision into the greatest version of reality. As the greatest version of self, how do you feel within your environment? Pay attention to your feet, how they're rooted into the earth, matching the feeling of you in the greatest environment there is. Eyes are still looking at the left thumb pointed and holding straight up. You're holding yourself with your calves, your thighs. You can shift your pelvis around where you see it feels the best. Find the balance in your navel point. Express your heart, holding yourself balanced and open in this position, practicing this relationship that we have with our internal body and the external environment. Feeling the ground moving up, the earth is pressing up into you just as you're pressing up into it or pressing down into it. You can feel that pressure from the earth, that hug from the earth, rising from the feet to your pelvis, all the way up your spine into your open heart, which you open a little bit more. which extends into your arms. Up into your throat and into the higher centers of your head. Where it falls back down around you. Creating a bubble. A sacred space that is infused with the greatest version of yourself. And as we stand here, breathing this in, breathing this position in, breathing this image in, breathing this space in, this bubble grows with every breath. We're inhaling this greatest vision of self, this greatest vision of environment, this bubble is growing. 
And we have 45 seconds to grow this bubble 